Inspired living. I'm Rina. Finally, <laughs> the long wait is over. Um, I can welcome you once again to our home, albeit virtual, um, to show you the part two of our home tour, our new home here in Sun Valley. So today I'm going to show you the upstairs. Um, it's been a massive um, renovation uh, of this house but we are truly happy of how it turned out um, today i'll be showing you the rooms upstairs what we did there uh, almost 90 percent renovations of all the rooms uh, so before that i'm going to show you uh, the pictures of how it looked like before we did the renovations it's been a long wait, but I hope that you will enjoy. Welcome to our home. Now, before we go up the stairs, I'm going to show you again how it looked like before the renovations. And by the way, if you had missed the part one of our home tour, I'm going to put the link down below. with me the landing upstairs the that um, door that faces the stairs is for the master's bedroom and on the left side of it is Tim's room I have here my cabinet for my teacups collection but um, it's just a temporary location for them because um, I'm planning to put a console table with a French mirror here. As you can see, the walls are so empty, but I hope to fill them up and turn them into a gallery wall. I chose this molding. Um, I wanted the wainscoting, but um, I wanted it to be more modern. And I saw this on Pinterest, which is um, not too high. So it goes up from downstairs and all around the hallway. Before the renovations at the other end of the hallway was a common toilet and bath. And as I had mentioned in the first part of the home tour, we demolished this toilet and bath and opened it. So this is now, after the renovations. At the end of the hallway, which we're looking at now, are the French doors. That was um, the common toilet and bath before at the end of this hallway. And we removed that as I had mentioned in the first video, first part of the home tour, and opened it up and built a balcony. 
at the front of the house. So if before that area was closed up and this other end at my back was the master's uh, bedroom, um, the, this hallway was really very dark. There was no um, source of light at all. But because we removed that, uh, the bathroom and comfort room and opened it up, the light just streams in without any obstruction. Making the hallway bright and really lit up like this, bright and airy. That um, place where the toilet and bath was originally, which we removed, we turned it into our reading nook because there is no other space left for our library. So this is now our reading nook. And I, as I had mentioned in one of the videos, the painting video, that it's also my um, studio because the natural light is just perfect here. So my painting materials are at the bottom shelf and then the children's books and Christian books there. Okay. And this um, brass floor lamp here, it's antique and I thrifted it and um, Tim and I restored it using a uh, gold metallic gold spray paint. The walls here in our reading nook are super empty yet, but I plan to have some of my original watercolor paintings be framed and hung here in this area. Our bookshelf is custom made. It's um mahogany and we have had it for years in the old house i'm glad that it matches well the color the finish matches well with the banister of the stairs this door here on my right is the den my husband's den where he rests and um his, his personal things are in there i'm going to show you that as well but first, I will show you um, the balcony outside these French doors. This is the view from our reading nook and my studio. It's just so refreshing to look out there. And when we open the French doors, the breeze is cool and really invigorating. This is the balcony that was built on top of the roof of the garage. Um, before, it was just the roof, nothing more, but now it's open like this. And the uh, um, view of the mountains and the sky, I just love it. I we love this place where we gathered, our family gathers sometimes. This is my husband's den. It's your basic man cave. There's not a lot to see here but he's comfortable here he rests here after work and he also exercises here after he jogs there was only one window before but we opened up another one fronting the balcony so that he will have an ample view of the outside surroundings the mountains and also he has his own um, smart TV here where he watches the live streaming of the worship service of our church and his personal belongings are in this um, his wardrobe. It's just a small room. 
but he's happy here. And this wall is crying out for an artwork. Maybe I can have one framed also from my water original watercolor paintings. So that's the den. This is Hannah's room. It is also a corner room, which I love. Look, that's her desk there. It's not so big, but it's enough for her. Hannah's room is at the right front corner of the house, and she has two windows. And as you can see, we also made the windows taller from before it's airy and bright here and her view in the late afternoons will be the setting sun which is really lovely since we removed the common toilet and bath at the end of the hallway um, we needed to uh, create a door between two rooms uh, Hannah's room and another room and turned it into her walk-in closet and toilet and bath this is her view from the bed and that's the balcony this is her desk as you can see, the walls are still very bare, empty. We have not put any wall decor yet. Her view here is really stunning. And during the colder months, the breeze from the mountain is really refreshing. This is Hannah's um, walk-in closet and toilet and bath. It was another small room before, which we turned into her own personal space. room and he fixed it this is Tim's room look at Tim's room that's his old bed from town and country again it's not that big but it's um, he's comfortable here he enjoys his room that door leads to his unsweet bathroom he has his own bathroom he doesn't share with Atihana anymore he has his own couch and this is his desk for the past um, two years that he's been studying at home because of the pandemic. This is his study area. And we are so happy that Tim um, is going to receive silver medal for academic excellence this is school year which we'll be celebrating also and share with you that's his accent wall and he chose that uh, mural he also fixed his bed which i am really thankful for So 
this is the master's bedroom. The master's bedroom is at the tip of the back of the house. It would be lovely. There is at least a big, a large artwork there. Maybe I can paint one there on that wall and panelings, it, that it will make the walls uh, more interesting to add wall panelings. That is the mantle. Used to be a brown mahogany, dark mahogany, but I copied the moldings of the windows and uh, repainted uh, everything uh, in white so that this mantle or bookshelf will be the same as the windows. As you have seen in the before photos, there was only one window on that side wall. So to maximize the view, we put two windows and we made the windows taller as we, what we did downstairs. So the windows are just a few inches above the floor. And now we have ample view of the outside, which is mostly the mountains, the hills, and the trees. We put a wall at the back of the bed and turned that into my walk-in closet. So that door, small door there, leads to my walk-in closet. This is, of course, an Aubusson rug. It's a very thick wool rug with embossed roses. It's French Aubusson. And I just love this kind of carpet. I'm also preparing a segment about decorating with carpets and area rugs. And I hope that you will look forward to that. Carpets and area rugs are one of my items in my online home decor store and they re really sell well. This is the wall where we put the mural. And we hired a wallpaper installer to put this wall in. We ordered the mural, wallpaper mural from Lazada. It's quite expensive, but it would be more expensive if we ourselves import, for, for example, from USA. This was what I was trying to imitate, which I saw on Pinterest. Um, it's a wallpaper in muted colors and there are others like it. I wanted to put it in our dining room originally, but because there are so many things there, the display cabinet, the buffet and the windows, uh, it will just hide the beautiful wallpaper. So this is the design, which is medieval rainforest which i really, really really like and this space is used for our family dining uh, during the days when i don't go down and there should be a dining table here and chairs but i have ordered new ones and so i'm going to update you regarding this space and this is the door going to the bathroom
we changed the bedroom balcony doors into these French doors and um, these doors lead to the balcony as I've said and it's my favorite uh, part of our house this is our bedroom balcony it is tiny but this is the very first thing that I fell in love with the house um, it overlooks those mountains and groves of trees there's even a bamboo grove there I love sitting here uh, in the late afternoons and just having tea sometimes or, or with the family having snacks and also I write on my blog here it's just so quiet with only the chirping of the birds they're calling at each other I also love bird watching here Welcome to my walk-in closet. It's not that big compared to others that I see on YouTube, but it's more than enough for me. This ottoman is used to keep my sewing machine and other sewing um, materials so they are always um, kept and organized and not cluttered and this is the master's bathroom we removed the existing black tiles and change them into this um, marble tiles so it will make the bathroom a lot brighter the shower area is open um, because i need to be able to maneuver my scooter when i'm uh, going to take a shower so we cannot enclose it with glass or even a platform it's just flat floor so that it will be easier for me to access the shower area there was no window on this wall before so we opened up the wall and put in this window it's another tall window to let in the light um, this is a vintage brass tiered side table which I thrifted and we finished it in metallic gold to make it brighter and this is my countertop my vanity table as well the countertop is made of quartz and this mirror is a vintage mirror which I I've had for many years I got it from an antique store and it's a beveled glass gold leaf frame these are uh, antique sconces crystal and brass i love i love using sconces like this part here is vacant for now i'm planning to put in maybe a metallic gold cabinet for the towels and other toiletries so if I have found the right cabinet I will have a bathroom update for sure so that's the master's bathroom and suite to our bedroom
I hope that you enjoyed the second part of our home tour showing you the upstairs and I hope that this has inspired you to make your home beautiful however simple uh, the way you, you do it or you don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, most of my things are thrifted from estate sales and also from thrift stores. So now I am just enjoying the morning here out in our uh, on our porch. Um, next on, uh, I'm not sure yet when it's gonna be, but we are also working in the gardens um, to show you what we have done in the garden. So now let's just enjoy a cup of morning tea while enjoying the view and the cool breeze because thank you for watching i hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already god bless